Temperature of Love, Ep 13 Part 1 Inch How wonderful to see a couple who actually talks about their relationship, is honest with each other, and works things out in a mature fashion. Their discussions about their feelings may not be easy, but at least they're having them, which is a step in the right direction. Even if everything else in their lives is uncertain, if they can overcome their insecurities about the past and find a way to be together, they'll make one hell of a strong team. Episode 13 Recap Young Sun thinks about his parents, and how we can't choose our family. He narrates that he used to think his mother was the most beautiful woman in the world, and that she always adjusted herself to suit his father. In his vision of her in the past, Shed said she was happy because of his father's love. On the day Shed brought flowers to good soup, Shed also visited Yung Sun at his apartment, where Shed clung to his arm despite his objections. To complain that she always latches onto men even though she knows it never lasts. Shed promised not to cause him any more trouble before rushing off at a call from Daniel, the latest man she's adjusting herself to suit. Yung Sun's father visits him as well, and over tea. He shows Yung Sun the article written about him after he won the television cooking contest. As he says that he wants to have a family get together at Good Soup, Yung Sun thinks that his father isn't the man he used to be. His father asks after his mother, sighing that they were never well suited for each other in the first place. Yung Sun says to himself. It's a poor excuse for violence. Before his father leaves, he tells Yung Sun not to sell the land his grandfather left him. In voiceover, Yung Sun tells us, I feel uncomfortable whenever I see my parents. It makes my heart feel complicated, and complicated is difficult. Because it's difficult, I hesitate. Because I don't want to hesitate, I overreact. Because I don't want to overreact, I suppress myself. That's the kind of person I am. On the night that Hyun Soo learns that the studio wants to bring in a second writer, Yong Woo tells Yong Sun that he's on his way to talk to the lead actor, Haram, into going back on set. Young Wu asks where Young Sun is off to, and he says cryptically that he'll decide after he makes a phone call. Suspicious, Young Wu asks if Young Sun is dating. Young Sun tells him to worry about himself and asks when he'll get to meet Young Wu's future wife. Young Wu just says it will be soon. Once he's alone, Young Sun calls Hai and Su to ask for her home address. She asks why, and he says that they can be friends who wish each other well. Hai and Su pouts that she's not going to cling to him, but she gives him her address anyway. As she gets ready, Hai and Su sighs at her reflection, saying that she's in no position to meet with men. But when Young Sun comforts her when she cries and carries her to the couch, she can't help but respond to his closeness. He asks softly if she's still scared, then when she doesn't respond, he quirks a little smile and asks what she's imagining. She says she's not imagining anything, which is a bold-faced lie, but he just asks if she's eaten and gets up to make dinner. Despite Hai and Su's nearly empty refrigerator, Young Sun manages to whip up some delicious looking stew and pasta. He protects the food by throwing his body across the table when Hai and Su lunges at it, protesting that has not finished garnishing the meal. So freaking cute! 
Hyun Soo takes a picture of the dishes, amazed at what Young Sun was able to do with so little. As she's showing him the picture, he sees a photo of the appetizer he made when she ate at Good Soup with Young Woo. She says she took a picture because he made it, and he looks pleased. Young Sun tells Hyun Soo to tell him what's bothering her, promising to listen without trying to fix it. He says that he already knows the station wants to hire a new writer, and that the lead actor walked off the set. Hyun Soo says that the articles are bad and the online comments are worse, telling her to stop writing altogether. She says it's tormenting, sad, and painful, while Young Sun listens sympathetically as promised. He gives her permission to cry, which sets off her tears, and he reaches out to touch her hand. Meanwhile, Hong off fumes after Young Sun breaks their dinner date. And she heads to Hyun Soo's place instead. Hong rings the doorbell, and she's not one bit happy when Young Sun answers the door. She grows even angrier when Hyun Soo obliviously invites her to dinner and shows off Young Sun's creative meal. Dinner is dense, with Hong Ah glaring as Young Sun and Hyun Soo banter comfortably. She decides to leave abruptly, and when Hyun Soo asks what's wrong, Hong Ah only snarls that they should be feeling the opposite emotions, considering their situations. She asks Young Sun if he's spending the night here, but it's Hyun Soo who answers, no. It doesn't soothe Hong Ah though, who just bristles at Hyun Soo for answering for him, then grinds out a sarcastic you two look good together before letting herself out. Young Wu finds actor Haram drunk at an Orbang, surrounded by girls. He tells Haram that he needs to get back on set, but Haram calls him a big shot and slaps him across the mouth, hard enough to draw blood. <laughs>